Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Leos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. We're going to be talking about numbers today, of course, like we always talk about numbers, right, Leo? Somebody just paid you all a really, really nice compliment. Um, I was talking to an Aries a little while ago, um, doing a personal reading for an Aries and um, got some really, really good feedback about this particular Aries having Leo surrounding them in their lives. And they were just talking about just speaking so highly of you all. Like I know that you all are, you know, Leos are some amazing people all the way around. Just absolutely amazing people. Um, you all just shine brightly wherever you go. And so just know that there are people out here giving you love. Not everybody is, um, you know, trying to project something negative onto you all. There are certainly people out here that highly respect Leos who uh, see the absolute best, see exactly what I see in Leos, which is that you all are caring, that you live a good life, that you all are very optimistic, natural leaders, that you all are kind and protective, that you all are loyal, um, that you all are honest, vivacious, that you all are very creative, passionate, generous, very warm-hearted, cheerful, and humorous. Yeah. You yeah, have very, very funny. We'll have people cracking up laughing, I tell you. Yes. So let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading. Like I said, we want to talk about some numbers, but we also want to, you know, make sure we get into your reading because it's a lot going on. Plus, we have a full moon coming. Whew. I tell you, a lot of people are being exposed, Leo. <laughs> I know you all are having dreams and, and all kinds of strange things happening, but not strange for the people in this world. You know what I mean? Like in the healing world. You know, we get it. We understand everything has, uh, you know, symbolizes something. So, yeah. So let's talk about the number 27 real quick. The number 27 actually intensifies the number nine. Two plus seven is nine, right? So 27 just means that you exude a sense of excellence and, um, and authority blended with a humanitarian spirit. Nothing new for a Leo. You all love helping other people, you know, being kind, making people laugh, you know, just very generous people you know, very loyal, you know, in your friendships and all of that. So it also means that um, 27 is a vibration of courage, love, compassion, and wise leadership. Again, sounds like you all, right? And also we have um, number 27 means that you have, that you actually love to share and uplift and you do with, you do so without asking for anything in return, you know, because you're all the givers, right? So yeah, let's get into, let's get into your reading and see what this, these cards have to tell us. What story does this card have to tell us for the Leos, <laughs> for the wonderful Leos? Yeah, there's so much I can say about Leos. So, 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 so much. So that was a good conversation having with this particular Aries about just how fantastic Leos are. Yeah, so yeah, let's get into your reading. Most High God in the Universe, please give me a special reading for Leos as it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, spirituality, and where they need to take action, and also in areas of creativity and emotions. What information do we have for my wonderful Leos? Yes, 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 Leos. Leos, if you all are tarot card readers or if you all are healers, clairvoyants, mediums, psychics, you know, in this spiritual world here, the spiritual realm, please, please, please take advantage of, if you haven't already, take advantage of the digital age. You know, put your videos and, you know, upload videos onto YouTube. You have Instagram. You have all sorts of platforms you can upload your videos onto because you all have something very special to bring to the universe. I just want to make sure I remember to say that. Something very, very special that you bring to the universe that other people really can glean from. So yeah, if I have any fellow readers out there and you haven't started your YouTube channel, please do so. Yeah, create your multiple streams of income and your passive income, you know, while you're asleep. <clears throat> because the world is just waiting, really, really waiting on all the wonderful things that Leo's have to offer the universe just do it just go out and just do it leo i'm telling you just do it yes new beginnings new beginnings i love this remember i said leos when we have full moons and you know sometimes people want to try to come back into your life and sometimes people want to you know ugh, people want to come back into your life they want to knowing that 
I know a lot of you all have been given some thought to some relationships, not just love relationships, because some people have dealt with exes who have run smear campaigns and all that. So we know if they try to come back in, Leo, you know that door is closed, never to reopen again. No and ifs or buts, you know what I'm saying? Like, let karma deal with that. Let them run their smear campaigns and say or do whatever they try to do, you know? Just because uh, karma can, trust me, karma can get through to them much better than you can. But while the moon is exposing so many people, it's also exposing family members, right? I just want to say this, Leo. I'm trying to tell you what I'm seeing in the cards, but the stories is telling me. Let me pick up the cards and show you all the cards that I see so far. We have the full card, right? This is attached to the planet Uranus. We also have Page of Cups. Make sure you get in there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Page of Cups. We already know you're not going back to that X unless you see pigs fly. And pigs aren't flying. And even if they were flying, you still wouldn't go back to your X. Yes, we have the um, Four of Swords. Let me take my finger out of the way so you all can see what's on the cards. Yes. And then we have the Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. That's you in rumination mode. You're like, mm, I'm over it. <laughs> yes. Over it, over it, over it. I wouldn't go back to that person unless I saw pigs fly. And because they're not flying, and even if they did, I'm still not going back, right? So yeah, Queen of Cups, we know that you're an extremely compassionate person. You really love people, right? And then we have um, the Ten of Cups, right? So for a lot of you all, um, moving on from this relationship, just kind of hitting the reset button saying, you know what, this is a brand new beginning for me. I'm no longer going to accept just anything into my, in, or let people stay beyond the welcome. You know, y'all know who I'm talking about, the family members that come to your house. You can stand there with the door wide open and they still won't get the message that it's time to leave. Y'all, those people. Sometimes we allow people to stay in our energy space for a little too long. They should have been gone a long time ago, but we're just allowing them, hoping, hoping and praying that we will see the best in them, that the best will eventually come out. And then you're just like, okay, I gave this person this chance, this chance, this chance, too many chances, and they still won't get it right. So yeah, there's some disappointment in all of that. And so you thought long and hard, you're like, I'm not going into this new year. I'm not even going another day in this relationship. Forget the new year. Okay. I'm not going another day. I'm going to get me some sweet sleep. And that's all of that because you know what? I deserve to have a harmonious, peaceful life, not a bunch of drama. Right? So yeah. So, um, hmm. Yeah, let's see. Um, like I said, I'm seeing the full car. You are, you know, feeling free. You feel like, you know what, you're inter an internal optimist. You're feeling like this new beginning is uncorrupt. You're just feeling great about where you are right now. So don't let them coming back, recognizing now how awesome of a person you are. Don't let it trip you up. Don't let it trip you up, right? Matter of fact, the full card is um, attached to the planet Uranus, which is Aquarius's ruling planet. Um, so you just feel free right now. You just feel like, huh, you know what? I had to make a decision. I'm moving on. I'm not getting back with that person ever. You know, it doesn't matter what happens. I'm not going backwards. And that's just that, right? So you're also feeling like, you know, like you just kind of sort of ready to leap into anything, right? And I mean, not in a reckless sense, Leo, but just more of a like, you know what? I'm going to be cautious. I'm really definitely setting boundaries, but I'm just kind of sort of ready to just kind of sort of see what's out there in the friendship pool, right? Um, which is great, which is really, really great. And that's the positive attitude to take. Um, especially coming out of situations where you just feel like, okay, this, that was a waste of time, but actually it wasn't, it was something for you to learn. That person had a lot of conflict. Yeah. A lot of internal conflict. It's amazing how many people actually date people. Y'all remember the movie sleeping with the enemy? Yeah. It's a, it's amazing how many people have dated people who were absolutely jealous of them. Here we go. We have the sun card. This is you right? Feeling vibrant and happy about life again. So many people have dated people that they were sleeping with the enemy. They were in a relationship with the person who was flat out jealous of them. They had a lot of internal conflict. They were jealous. They were envious, all kinds of mess, right? But guess what? They still cannot stop or block your blessings. I just want you to know that. You know what? It's just sad. It's actually sad when you're in a relationship with a person who tries to block your blessings. 
Um, this is, I want you to see that you just, I want you to be cool, calm, and collected. There's nothing, like I said, this new, when I tell you that the universe has been protecting you, your ancestors have been protecting you, spirit guides are protecting you, everybody has been protecting you. You have a lot of potentials coming your way, including your ex trying to come back. The door is closed. See how you perched up? You're sitting there, you're like, mm -mm, nope. I'm moving forward, even though the past is trying to pull me back to try to get me to talk to them. They're trying to send text messages. Some people are, you know, creating other, you know, other accounts to try to sort of um, stalk your pages and all that kind of stuff. Seeing what you're doing, Leo, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter because you're not going backwards. You know why? Every time you sit there and you think about all the conflict and confusion they caused in your life, then it's like, uh, nope, I'd be a fool to go back. I would be a fool, like this fool card. I would be a fool in reverse to go back. Not an upright fool, but one in reverse if I even thought about going back to that person. Yeah, so you've moved on without their baggage, right? You just dumped their baggage off. You said, I'm moving forward. Nope, I deserve better. And you do. You deserve the best, Leo. You deserve the best, not just better, the best. Your third eye is open. You're starting to see things for what they really were. That's why I said when um, this full moon, a lot of things are becoming crystal clear. No and ifs or buts. You're like, wow, I did not. You know, like before, you, you, what's the saying? The saying is hindsight is twenty twenty, right? You're starting to see things like you're really starting to think about like, wait a minute now. Hold on. Okay, now it makes perfect sense, right, Leo? Now you're starting to see that certain things make perfect sense as to why you would never go back to that particular person. Even if you had a soft spot for that person, you said, well, you know, they were going through this, 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 that, and the other. You're like, nope, I would never go back when I think about it. The number 28 also intensifies the number 10 and the number 1 because 2 plus 8 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1, right? So number 28, that vibration for that particular number means that you have an original approach to life and unique and inventive ideas. It also means that you are here to remind others that they have an eternal connection. Now, today is 29th. So today is 11, 29, 2020, right? So the 29 breaks down to the number 11, like the 11th month, 29th day today. Um, 29 actually reduces to 11, which in turn reduces to the number two, right? The 29 intensifies those numbers, but 29 just simply means that you're highly intuitive. It also means that you're a creator of original ideas and visions. It also means that you have high standards that never, ever waver. Okay, today is the 29th. Listen here, Leos. <laughs> if your ex tries to contact you, I want you to remember all the, the problems they caused you in your life. Things that you were aware of and things that you weren't aware of. Just remember how things were not working out for you in certain areas of your life because they were affecting every part of your life by contaminating you, right? So that's what I want you all to take away from this. It doesn't matter who tries to come into your life, especially if your ex tries to come back? Oh, no. Mm -mm. You're not doubling back. There's no reason to double back. And look, just because they seem like they're sad, they're sorry, they're, you know, remorseful, it doesn't matter. They have not changed. They are who they are. And again, let this full moon download these messages to you so you can see exactly what, you know, why you will never go back. The moon will show you. <laughs> okay. All right, pay attention to your dreams. That's what I have for you, Leos. Have a great day. Bye.